This shit don't stop, nigga. Real easy. The Nets, they getting eliminated, bro. Them niggas not, might not even make the playoffs, bro. Them niggas might get eliminated in the play and might. You feel me? I understand that they think they got home court. Um, you feel me? In that first around in that first playing game. But I'm just watching how these niggas play. It's the reason why Kevin Durant left Golden State. You know why? Because he don't want to be held accountable for shit. You know why? He get to play freelance. He get to have turnovers. Nah, nigga. It's a culture over here with us, though. You feel me? Period, point blank. And now, nigga, the Indiana nigga is on a motherfucking 14-2 run to start the fourth quarter. A 17-2 run, nigga, to start the third quarter. These niggas, is, these niggas ain't going to get it done. Look at Kevin Durant. Now he want to go into score mode. And that's a bucket. That's what I'm saying, nigga. He's a one-on-one -on -one player, bro. Then these niggas just put up empty stats in today's game, bro. These niggas can't win without super teams. Outside of motherfucking Giannis, these niggas cannot win without super teams as they give up, up a wide-open layup to Tyrese Halliburton. These niggas getting served in the second half of this game, bro. Against the Nets and the, I mean, against the Pacers and the Pacers, nigga, are playing for a lottery pick. As Kevin Durant pulls up from the free throw, and that's a break. As this nigga keep breaking, bro. Look. Give me that ball. That's what I'm saying. These niggas, Kevin Durant already got like five turnovers on a day. So now all of a sudden he want to turn it up. It's all about numbers, bro. These niggas don't be committed to winning. These, this nigga ran from the smoke and the pressure of being held accountable because you know why? We got vets and shit that's going to let that nigga know. Check this out, nigga. We don't get out. How you was getting down on OKC? How you, how this nigga was getting down? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right now, we cool, bro. It's a certain way that you need to play, nigga, if you want to win championships. You feel what I'm saying? All that nigga, me, 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 shit. That shit don't work, bro. These Nets, they in trouble, nigga. I'm telling you. Look, crossover, nigga, Buddy Hill. Back to motherfucking Jacoby Brissett. Boom. McConnell. Back to Brissett. Wide open three. And that's a break. That's what I'm saying. This nigga didn't have wide open three. They give up wide open scoring opportunities. You can't play like that against the best basketball players in the world, bro. Period, point blank. You just can't play like that. You can't go on droughts and shit and let teams go on 17 and 2 runs and shit and 10 0 runs. And you know what I'm saying? That's not championship level type basketball, bro. Kevin Durant, Kyrie, nigga, motherfucking, um, nigga, Will Chamberlain. I don't give a fuck who you got on your team, nigga. If you ain't playing no motherfucking defense, bro, you're done. Chop them niggas' necks off, bro. Niggas, be, niggas don't really understand basketball, bro. KD all about putting up numbers. Kyrie, he's the robin of somebody's motherfucking Batman. But nigga, KD ain't considered no Batman. He's just a great player, nigga, who can drop 30 and 40 a game. Is he going to do it on both ends, though? See, Giannis can drop 30 to 40 a game, but then you know what you're going to get on the other end of that. That impacts winning, nigga. KD really don't impact winning. See, he had a lot of niggas, dog niggas, and motherfuckers who impacted winning when he was with the Warriors. He didn't have that at OKC. That's why he say, fuck it, I got to go somewhere where I can nigga, get, at least get a couple chips for my legacy. And we seen that nigga bounce and jump shit. I don't believe in KD and the Nets, bro. I don't believe in them niggas, bro. I don't. This basketball has changed. These niggas are straight robots, bro. These niggas is programmed to do a certain thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we can talk about this shit in the media. These niggas aren't invested in trying to win championships, bro. These niggas are happy with making hella money, flossing on Instagram, Showing up to the game with them tight ass motherfucking G strings and motherfucking uh, yoga pants and shit on, nigga. With, with, with motherfucking iced out medallions and shit. Nigga, when have you seen Michael Jordan and, and Kobe Bryant, nigga, show up to a game, nigga, with wrist pieces on and cubers or con fake ass cubers or coniums that look like real diamonds, nigga, in their ear, nigga, in a motherfucking iced out medallion? Nigga with some pink tight ass yoga pants on, nigga. Like, nigga, what? These niggas more concerned about looking good than playing good.
These niggas more concerned about the attention that they gonna get on a TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, social media, YouTube, nigga, than they are, you know what I'm saying, about the attention they gonna get from playing a basketball game. You get what I'm saying? These all fashion over there, fashion over ass niggas, bro. These niggas are straight robotic, nigga. These niggas aren't real individuals, my nigga. I have yet to see. Um, this shit frustrated niggas so much, bro. Watching this shit, I'd be like, nigga, what are they doing? Oh, I see what they doing. This shit is just for the. This shit just for the metrics. These niggas play now for metrics. <laughs> you can throw winning out the ball game. These niggas don't give a fuck about winning. I don't give a fuck what your record, nigga, indicate. I want you to go win a chip. Just like they say, it, nigga, if, if it ain't about dollars, it ain't about cents. If it ain't about cents, it ain't about dollars or whatever, nigga. If it ain't about chips, nigga, then I don't, I don't want to holler at you, bro. I need to see niggas with the hardware, nigga. Build your legacy. And I ain't talking about niggas some fake ass shit that be happening. I'm talking about legitimate competing nigga and plan for a chip. I'm not talking about, oh, this nigga need to get suspended. Oh, I need this player to win over here. Oh, I need um this nigga. I need these refs to make these calls. Come on, bro. We've seen how these games are fixed with the left hand alley you, nigga. We seen how these games be playing out, bro. When it's always some special ass shit that need to happen in order for a nigga or a team to win. You go get it out the mud, bro. I'm sorry. You gotta get this shit out the mud, nigga. But then again, that's like I mean, you know, we asking for too much to ask niggas to get it out the mud, right? <laughs> you niggas is crazy, bro. These niggas ain't gonna make it, nigga. You Kevin Durant and you motherfucking Brooklyn Nets lovers, it's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. These niggas about to lose this game to the Pacers, bro. Pitiful, nigga. Like, share, subscribe. You already know.